Hey guys, it's I Got Life 23 here, and today I want to wish you guys happy 2016. Um, yeah, so I thought I would do a Star Wars The Force Awakens haul because that's really what's been on my mind for the past couple of weeks since the movie came out. I really enjoy Star Wars The Force. I really enjoyed Star Wars The Force Awakens. find Ray merch so let's just get right into it um I guess I'll start off with this bag <laughs> right this is a gift bag that I got as a Christmas gift it includes Ray in front with Finn and um BB-8 and Chewbacca and then on the back or on the sides it has Kylo Ren and then on the back it has Kylo Ren with Captain Phasma and a uh, an abundance of first order stormtroopers um so this i believe is probably from hallmark i'm gonna take a wild guess but maybe yes it is from hallmark because it says on the bottom of the bag and i so i don't really know the pricing of it because i got it as a uh christmas gift well this is not the i mean the bag held my christmas gifts i didn't just get a bag for christmas but if it was this i mean if it was just this i would be fine with it um, <coughs> so yeah, <coughs> cough. So let's get into stuff that's kind of random. This is from Kohl's, hence the Kohl's bag. The stocking. This is a really cool stocking because it in features Ray, um, ginormously, and, uh, and then it has Finn and Chewbacca, BB-8, and her speeder, and it just says Star Wars. And this is really cool. I bought it after Christmas because it was on sale and ain't nobody got time to pay $29.99 for it full price. Um, so I got it on sale. It was like 70% off. So I only got it for like $8. So that was really cool. So there's that. They also had a BB-8 one, just like BB-8. But I mean, come on, look at her. Look at her. So there's that. Uh, I also got this um, Star Wars Play Pack Grab and Go. This was actually from Target's dollar section. It includes a little coloring book, and, oh, little coloring book, and some stickers. And it also mainly features Ray on the cover, so I had to get it because I'm an adult man who makes his own money, who can buy whatever he wants, and this is what he chooses to buy. So that was a dollar, so there's that. I also got this bookmark. This is from, I believe, Barnes & Noble. It was $3.95, or you can go to Trend Trends International. Dot com. There we go. We got there. You sound out the words and then they become a reality. So if you want to find this bookmark, go to transinternational.com. It was $3.95. This was a gift, so I'm actually not too sure where she got it. I believe maybe it was Barnes & Noble, but I'm not really too sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, and there you go. It includes Ray and her staff. Let's move on. These are from Hot Topic, hence the Hot Topic bag, and they are pops. So let's start off with the girl of the hour. 
Ray. This is a uh, Hot Topic exclusive. It's Ray and her um, junk searching gear. It includes her goggles and she holds a blaster. The same, the blaster I'm assuming that Han Solo gives her, but she never really wears her like goggles when she's, when she meets Han. So, I don't know, but she's cute. I didn't see the regular Ray at Hot Topic, but they do sell her at Hallmark, believe it or not, for like $12.95. So if you can't seem to find regular Ray, there's that. So you can go there. These are $12.50. So I bought this one, and then I had to buy the whole trio. So I bought Poe Dameron. And I also bought Finn. So there we go. The trio looking super cute and i'm going to display these on my shelf and they but the thing about these pops that are really cool is they come with stands that say star wars on them so that's really cool so if you want to choose to take them out of the box you don't have to worry about them falling over because they got stands so there is that okay let's continue on i got this lightsaber it's a regular toy lightsaber it's luke's lightsaber but i had to get it because spoiler alert ray then gets called upon it and so it's technically like in the force awakens ray's lightsaber so i had to get it and because after i saw the movie i was like i want a lightsaber i bought this uh at hot topic for 14 dollars because everywhere else they were like 20 bucks it lights up, but I have really shitty batteries for it, so you can't even tell that it's lighting up. So, there's that. Ugh. So, yeah. Okay, let's move right along to... Stuff I bought at Disneyland. Disneyland had the most merch for Star Wars The Force Awakens and had a lot of Rey stuff. So if you get to, you find yourself at Disneyland, I would definitely check there first if you're looking for Rey stuff because they had a lot of stuff. That's like an, an exaggeration. They had a lot of cool stuff. Actually, not too many stuff for men, surprisingly. They had a lot of Rey clothing, a lot of Rey apparel for women, which is cool. Um, but us guys also like Rey, so come on, Disney, get on that boat. But whatever just disney get on the boat of selling ray merch please so i'm gonna start off with actually something that's not ray i bought this bb8 sipper i think it is super cool and adorable and uh really awesome and it's just a bb8 sipper this went for 16 dollars, i believe and i bought it by the innovention center in uh tomorrowland so there's that it opens halfway through it actually holds quite a bit so when you bought this you it, it came with a drink obviously and uh, you can get like frozen strawberry lemonade i believe or maybe a frozen raspberry i don't really remember what drink it was but yeah so this was 16 dollars. you can also take off the straw if you just want to display it but yeah i think it's really cute <clears throat> going on with the bb8 trend i bought this BB-8 uh, necklace light up thingy um, nothing really too crazy about it it's just a BB-8 thing to like wear at night when you're watching the parades and it does light up and uh, let me see if I can turn off my light for you so there you go got some moving lights on it and yeah, this I believe was $11, maybe nine. I actually don't remember. I feel bad because this was like a week ago. <coughs> but yeah, so there was that. Okay, moving right along. I bought a gray pin from the trading post in Frontierland. And I think it's really cool. Simple, but really awesome. It includes Ray and BB-8 in the background. 
and her staff. A lot of the Ray merch also includes BB-8, so it's kind of like a two-for-one because I think those were two of the best characters in Star Wars The Force Awakens, so it's really awesome that you get both of them. This is limited edition. Star Wars stuff seems to sell out really fast, and especially Star Wars The Force Awakens, and especially Ray. so I would say if you still want to get these pins to pro these pins to probably go now <laughs> right now like leave go right now uh but definitely get to disneyland soon because i'm sure these will sell out because they are limited edition and this was 12.95 so not too cheap but uh yeah i then also the last thing i bought was this star wars the force awakens crew next shirt slash sweater I say shirt because it's really thin and you know sweaters are supposed to keep you warm this will not keep you warm but that's great because I'm a person who gets really hot anyway so it was that but the really cool part about this shirt is well this is the back of it and it says Star Wars The Force Awakens and it has Jakku the planet of Jakku and then in the front is Rey and BB-8 I saw this and I was like, I need it. And then I saw that it was for women and I was like, oh, but then I was like, whatever, because clothing should not have any gender. So there's that. And I thought it was really cool. So yeah, this was, I believe, $44.95. So a little pricey, but if you have an annual pass, you get the discount. So it's not too bad. And it's really nice material. And it's really soft and I mean it just it's probably the coolest clothing item I own at the moment um that's I think most of the stuff I bought a Star Wars cup with Ray on it it has like um Poe Finn all of them it's like one of those plastic cups I can't find it right now so I'm sorry guys but it was a dollar at Target as well okay so the last items I bought were action figures because if you're gonna go and buy Ray stuff, you obviously need an action figure. You don't need one, I know that. Calm down, y'all. But I had to get one. So I bought this Ray the Bla from the Black Series. It's Ray, parentheses, Jakku, and BB-8. And it includes her staff and BB-8. And I thought it was really cool. I actually bought this at Walgreens. The Ray action figures are selling like crazy and they're like almost impossible to find anywhere and I thought it was really random that Walgreens had them but I would say check there because I guess like me most people don't think to check at Walgreens for action figures so there you go. This was $19.99 maybe you can get it cheaper but I mean I wouldn't you know risk it because they are selling really fast. So it uh, has a really good face mold I believe I really like it. Um, there's the picture, there's the side, and then on the back it has a little description of Ray. So you can pause it if you want to read it. And then I bought another action figure because I have a problem. This is Ray and BB-8 from the Elite series, which is made out of die cast, which is really heavy and really nice. I'm going to be honest with you, I like both of the action figures. I think they're both really nice and they both display display really well in the box. This one obviously is a little nicer to look at, but I do really enjoy both of them. This one has a lot of more, a lot more stuff. It includes the blaster that Han Solo gives her, uh, a backpack, a BBA as well, her staff, and um, a lightsaber. Uh, not a lightsaber, the lightsaber. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not really a big fan of her face mold. I thought they could have done better, but whatevs. So here's a side-by-side -side view of them. If you're going to spend money, this one was $24.95 at the Disney Store. Uh, Disney Store actually was really cool about it. I went in there. They didn't have her. But they checked online and they did have her. And if you buy something at the Disney Store, you can get it shipped to your home for free. So that's what I did. And it came a week later. So here's them side-by-side. -side. Again, sorry guys. My mind is all over the place. <clears throat> They're both pretty similar. Both of the outfits are similar. This one's a little more... Um, worn looking which I think makes more sense because she lives on a desert planet uh, this BB-8 is a little bigger obviously this action figure is bigger than this one but I do like the face mold for this one better I like everything else about this better so um, I don't know I don't know which one you should go pick 
Maybe this one because it displays better and it comes with a lot more stuff. But if you find one, I would say just get it because they're going to sell out. So that's about it for the Star Wars The Force Awakens haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite part, your favorite merch was. Or your favorite part of the movie was. Anything really. Um, and yeah. So that's it. Thanks guys for watching. As always, may the odds be ever in your favor. But I guess for this video, may the Force be with you. Bye.